So, as you can see, a couple of things that are that, that you should be looking at. Number one, grip. Okay, you, there's a lot of talk, especially on the internet, about what's the proper way to grip a sword, all that kind of thing. You can see your grip needs to be ch changeable. Okay, when we're here, I have to. When the pressure's coming in here, I have to be able to keep a grip that can keep. The, the right amount of pressure and the right amount of resistance to his to, to his thing. Obviously, the further I bring my hands apart, the more leverage I have. This is why we don't hold it like a baseball bat. Okay, we're always got our, our, our hands apart like this, so that when he pushes me over, I have the leverage to keep going here. Now, notice here, if he keeps going here and I do not change my grip, it will come out. So I come over to here and I can change it here. Now look, by bringing this back, I've come out to the end or the quick of his blade, right? And I'm on the strong of mine, which means now I have the superior leverage, okay, which I can then get in it. So there's a lot of counterintuitive stuff that's going on here, okay? Obviously, you're going to be able to feel this. Bring your hand as far up as you want or as far as you, as you feel comfortable because the idea is we want to get this as close to our point of contact as possible. You can feel it. If he pushes in here, very strong. If he pushes on up there, not so much, right? So that's, that's the dynamic. It's not that you're not ever going to use one or the other. It's that you just have to know what the, what the differences are and how, how to move on there. Um, now, as I kind of alluded to before, this, a lot of this stuff is given to Form 5, Gemso, and so there's a lot of talk about strength, and this is what they mean about strength. But you have to remember, this isn't just brute strength, okay? When we're coming together, I have to be responsive. So I have to keep enough pressure that I can feel what he's doing, but I, have, I can't put too much that I'm totally committed to whatever I'm, what I, whatever I'm doing here, okay? That means that, like when we're here, we're probably gonna put a lot less pressure on in the bind than many of you will when we're fighting each other because we are a little bit more knowledgeable and have better technique, are used to doing this kind of stuff a little bit more. So we don't have to kind of go for it. And plus, we're at the point where we're now trying not to give away our intention to our opponent, right? The more pressure I put on here, the more he has to play with. You see? Boom. Okay? I put it here, he takes it away. And there's that, there's that thing. So we don't want to overcommit to any of this kind of stuff, okay? So the strength that comes in here is not yielding, okay? I come in here like this, I accept that force, right? It's in my feet, really. And once it becomes too much, I allow the things to move around, right? And using my grips, my guards, all of those techniques, I can kind of control it. If you're in Shicho at this point, you're not going to be doing a lot, but from here, he comes up. Here's that one spot there. I can come around for a tap to the temples that way, here, right? So there, you can do this at any level, even though a lot of people say it's all about, you know, it's, it's in form five and, you know, the the long sword and all of that kind of stuff, right? But the whole point about it is, is that we are coming together and we're, we're, we're giving pressure. We don't want to just kind of lightly touch, because that will happen, right? Boom, he just collapses in, okay? And quite frankly, the thing that we want to happen is if I come in here like this, I want his hands to go backward like this. Once they're back like this, that's, that's where, where I have it. Same thing with him. He wants to come in here and he wants to push my arm so my arms are back here so I can't get to him, right? <clears throat> both, both of those things are happening simultaneously and neither of us is going to give that to each other willingly, right? Hence, we come together and now
notice, we're just using the bind here, right? We're not striking at each other. We're doing little disengages here and there, but only when we really need to. Ah, good. See? <clears throat> so that's the, that's the whole point.